This is my Samsung top load washer and recently when trying to run any type of washing it would return a error code 4E. So what I did was I googled it. After googling it I came to this uh, troubleshooting page for Samsung mentioning that there was low water supply and it suggests going to your hose entry port ports over here and checking that the filter isn't dirty which I tried so this is the back and this is where the water comes in I took it apart and took, pulled out the filter with a pair of pliers like the website said it was clean so after googling it some more I came across this something about a Samsung water level pressure switch and there's just a tube that goes from your drum in the back up to, I'm not sure if this shows it, but it'll go up to the top of your washer. You'd have to remove the panel, but what's important here is uh, this tube, I checked really quickly and it was detached. So it's really easy to get to. I'll show you. So just using a regular screwdriver, there's only four screws. One, two, three, four. Sorry about the angle of this, but it's just four screws that you take off and it reveals the back of the, the panel. So I'll remove those four screws. So after removing the four screws, you can pull this out by lifting it up a little bit, lifting it up and then it comes out. So I'll show you, just like in that YouTube video, which I'll include, there's a clear tube which is, goes up to the water level sensor. You can follow it down here. For me, what was happening was, for me what was happening is this tube end over here had fallen out from the water level sensor. And so it was, whenever you turn it on, the water would fill up and it leaked down here in the bottom, which was a problem for me. There was water down here. All I had to do is reattach it. You might have to get a new hose. But for me, I was just able to reattach this and then it got everything working. So, for me, 4E error code. Check the filter on the inlets. But if you notice that there's leaking happening, it might be a case where you just remove the back panel. It's just four screws. One, two, three, four. And then just inspect to see if anything's fallen loose. Could be just the water level sensor tube that came off. And hopefully it's an easy fix.